Hello, Life Path 4, and welcome to your readings at the Roundtable. I'm Jennifer, and this is your monthly numerology for January 2023. I know, we're already like right here at it. It's crazy. Um, but here we are, January 2023. And I just want to tell you right now, um, if you want to know more about the year 2023, which is a seven year, by the way, check out my video called um, For All the For All Life Path Numbers um, 2023. It's a quick little video and it's not as long as the hour long video that I did on a live. Um, so this one has everything sort of condensed down, like how to calculate your personal year how to like, you know, navigate this and it's going to be really helpful. It is. And I may yet make videos for the personal year, but I'm redoing the numerology completely for 2023, uh, for January, 2023. So I'm just a little bit behind. Um, I'm hoping to have this out by January 1st, but maybe by the second, we'll see. I know Mercury will be in retrograde by then. So we'll see what happens. All right. Life path four. You are a life path full of manifesting, which is hard work, right? It's, it's work to manifest because in order to really manifest truly, you have to put in your end of it. So whether you're manifesting business or relationships or friendships, family, whatever it is that you're, you're, um, you're manifesting, um, it's work and you're good at building that foundation for you really are. Um, this is a time to organize your life. Life path four is good at removing clutter, putting things in order. Um, this is like that child, like, um, enthusiasm for work. I know <laughs> these people are very solid people. Um, they don't always have a lot of patience, but they need to use their patience in this lifetime. Um, January 2023 is a three month for you, Life Path 4, a three month. So we had a three month back in November, but it's going to be the same, but different, the same energy, but a little bit different because in 2022, which I'm still in 2022 when I'm recording this, um, 2022 was under the umbrella of the six vibration of the six numerology. 2023 is a seven vibration. So even though you're going to have a three month starting off this year with um, all about communication and expressing yourself, expressing yourself like self-expression in art, in writing, in speaking or in music, all of those things are going to have a spiritual tie to it. So because seven is a very spiritual year, it's spiritual expansion, it's spiritual growth, um, it's spiritual knowledge and it's spiritual connection. So this month, you're in January, you're um, having a three month, you're going to have opportunity to speak your truth. You're going to have lots of opportunities to speak your truth, maybe about your spiritual connection, maybe about your spiritual knowledge. Um, you're also going to experience that family ups and downs thing that you do when we're in a three time. But that's because, again, it's, it's, it's spiritually based and it's all about trusting your own judgment during this time. Um, remember that speaking your truth, expressing your thoughts and emotions does not mean that you can cause injury to others. Remember that we, as a human race, we should never cause injury to others because we're speaking our, our thoughts and our emotions and speaking our truth. We should do it in such a way that it doesn't cause injury to others. But, you know, that's another show. I know, I'm so much fun. Um, the shadow effects of a four is overwork can cause stress. That can happen, right? Um, and closing our minds does not allow new ideas to come in. That's a real problem with the, with the shadow side of a four. Being impatient with the time it takes to build these things. It takes time to build relationships, businesses, families, or any kind of partnership. 
it takes time to build those things. So you don't have to rush into it. If you rush into it, you're going to have problems later on. Um, the shadow effect of a three is judging the self and others too harshly or unable to speak your truth or communicate openly. So we don't want to get stuck in either one of these shadow sides. And if you're overworking yourself, then you're also going to be judging yourself very harshly. And if you're like me for, since I am a life path 22, four, there is some similarities. If you're like me, I'm also a Virgo. So I really have a problem with this. I judge myself very, very critically. And sometimes as I am judging myself very critically, it sort of overflows into everybody else in my life. Not where we need to be. That is not where we need to be. So remember when we're in this, don't judge yourself and don't judge others. We're all trying to get through this and keep your patience. Keep your patience together for, because this is a spiritual year. This is a time of spiritual learning, spiritual knowledge, spiritual expansion, and spiritual connection. So remember that. It's also a time of contemplation. And so that is also going to make sure, keep your mind open. Make sure you keep your mind open because when you're contemplating things and you're very philosophical about these things, you're going to have a better January. Ah, oh, I know. It's a tough time. I'm telling you. I mean, 2023 being a seven year is not particularly easy for a lot of people. A lot of people don't want that spiritual expansion, the spiritual growth. I know. I know those people. <laughs> what a shocker, right? Mm. Okay, let's see what kind of cards we get for you. First, I'm going to pull from the Goddess Guidance Cards. I keep having to look this up because I can't get it. Um, the Goddess Guidance Cards. And let's see what kind of cards we get for you here. Oh, yes. January. I am looking forward to 2023. Oh, of course, you know, I look forward to every day, but, ooh, Mott, fairness. I'm going to have to put my glasses on to read that. Okay, let's get the crystal card. Um, but really, I talk more about calculating your personal year. Um, in the quick little video that I made called for all life path numbers, pretty sure that's what it's titled. I mean, I just recorded it like two hours ago, but I can't remember the name of it. So I didn't show it to you. Fairy stone. Fertility. I rather like that stone. The fairy stone. Okay, I don't need to put it on the book because I need that. And I need my glasses. Alright, I do like to read from the book on the crystal cards because, you know, the crystal cards just have the one word. And I want to give you a little more than that. Life Path 4. Okay, so the Goddess Guidance cards is Mott and it's Fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Balance. Balance. Oh, four. That's a very important thing for a four is balance. Because overwork can cause stress. And we don't need that. Okay. And the fairy stone is fertility. Let's see. Okay. It's related to all chakras. And a uh, fairy stone is found only on the banks of the sacred rivers in northern Quebec in Canada. 
This unique and very rare stone is a true gift from the land and is recognized as being extremely sacred by the local Native American people as they understand as powerful medicine. As you connect deeply to this sacred stone, you will receive the blessings of good health, prosperity, and fertility. These amazing stones all have their own energy and shapes, and at times can even look like people. This is a sacred stone of magic and good luck. It enhances fertility, assists in healing trauma created in the womb, and offers protection. It brings good health and prosperity. Ah, well, I gotta say, I love this for you four. I really do. I think we're starting off 2023 in a great way. Great. I also have to thank um, my, one of my clients. She's also a friend of mine for um, my lovely t-shirt. It seems like for numerology on this channel, I'm going to be wearing t-shirts that have a message. <laughs> so look forward to that in 2023 as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for supporting my new channel, which is now four months old and it's not exactly new anymore. So thank you for continuing to support my channel. I appreciate you so much. I look forward to reading for you in 2023, both on your weekly Zodiac and your monthly numerology. So don't forget to check out your weekly Zodiac as well. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful new year. I hope you have a great January and a very, very blessed 2023. Thank you so much for joining me. And the most important thing of all, get out there and make your magic. Bye.